This race is an open pace for Phillies and Mares, a good purse of $12,000. Field of six and no changes, just four minutes. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to redeem your preferred Players Club points before the end of the year. But don't forget to hold on to your card for next season. With three minutes of post, here's the field for the eighth. Number one is Sharon Mack and driver Dave McGee. Number two, Jenny McPockets and Tony Morgan. Number three, Go Girl Go, Laverne Hostether. Number four is Broadway Tax and Joel Smith. Number five, Lady Eyes and Dale Heitman. Number six, Falcons, Bambi and Ron Marsh. That's the field for the eighth, just three minutes. Who's running? Field moves to the top of the turn. Feature race pacers and behind the starting gate. Here they come. Merrill fan pacing Falcons. Bambi left for the lead. There goes Sherman Mack. Charging between horses. Jenny McPockets into the turn. They race on Sherman Mack. Benefits from the inside, but Jenny McPockets moves between horses. Second, Falcons. Bambi, three wide and third. Go, girl, go. For the Bumper Broadway Tax and Lady Eyes. Out of the turn, they're moving for the quarter. And Jenny McPockets is under urging now to take it on. But Sherman Mack. Holds on the inside second. It's Falcons Bambi Park third the quarter. 27 and four the quarter. And your new leader is Jenny McPockets. Two lengths. It's Sherman Mack second to length. Falcons Bambi parked on the outside. Go girl go. Broadway tax and lady eyes. Approaching the half mile marker. Positions on change and Jenny McPockets. Leads two lengths, but Falcons Bambi is on the move on the outside. Second, it's Sharon Mack right there in third. Go, girl, go. She takes to the outside. 56 and four, a lively first half. Into the clubhouse, turn their race. It's Janie McPockets with the lead. It's Falcons Bambi on the outside. Second, Sharon Mack is getting a great trip. Third, go, girl, go. She's on the outside, but here comes Lady Eyes. She's driving from last three wide. Now they race up the box stretch. It's Jenny McPockets with the lead. Sharon Mack holds in second between horses, Falcons, Bambi, and Lady Eyes. Three quarters, one, 26 and four. Now they drive into the far turn. It's Jenny McPockets with the lead. Lady Eyes drives alongside a challenging second, Sharon Mack. Her only hope is the open stretch. Here they come, turning for home. Here comes Lady Eyes, and Lady Eyes in the center of the track takes command. But Sherman Mack is charging through the stretch. It's Lady Eyes and Sharon Mack. Here comes Sharon Mack. Sharon Mack, Lady Eyes, those two at the wire. That is a photo. Please hold all tickets. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's check in at Belmoral. Here's your eighth race rundown at Balmoral. In this race, two dialed up, finished second, disqualified and placed seventh for violation of the breaking rule. After the placing, the rundown is six, seven, four. Scratch three, one, two, five, and eight. Two, oh, two, and one is a new mark for Splendid Joy. Here now, your possible late doubles coupling the eighth race winner, number six, Splendid Joy, with the horse and drivers in the ninth. One model major, John Anderson, $197.80. In the photo, number one, Sharon Mack was first. Number five, Lady Eyes was second. Number two, Jenny McPockets, third. Number four, Broadway Tax, finished four. Results are official. Time for the mile, 157 and a fifth. Moving to the winner's circle will be number one, Sharon Mack. 
Sharon Mack is owned by Terry Benison of Galva, Illinois, trained by Lloyd Roberts, Jr., driven by Dave McGee, his third winner of the night. We will have prices posted momentarily.